Hello everyone and welcome back to the MattVidPro AI YouTube channel. As a lot of you no doubt know by now, it's been a pretty huge week in the world of AI. OpenAI had their Dev Day keynote and made some pretty awesome announcements. In the beginning of this week, I did a full recap that explores everything that they announced. So if you aren't caught up, I would start there. And then the next day, I did another video where I covered all of the new ChatGPT features. And while today's video is covering new features inside of Chat. GPT, we are solely focused on the creation aspect of the new GPTs feature. Yes, that's right, we're going to be diving into the creator side of things of these GPTs, what I've learned so far on how to make them, and even a place you can share your GPTs and experience other people's, before the OpenAI GPT store is even announced and released. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Everyone, welcome back to ChatGPT. Of course, this is the main screen on our sidebar over here. We have this brand new Explore tab that's slowly rolling out over this week to everybody. In the last video, we covered all of the ones that were made by OpenAI, which are pretty good, but I don't think they fully harness the capabilities inside of this custom GPT's feature. And you can see I already made my own custom GPT called Auto Advisor. If you want to try out this GPT that I've made, and other people's GPTs as well, and maybe even share your own, you can actually click the link in the description below to join my Discord server. Now on this server we have a brand new section called the Share GPTs. As you can see right now it's over on the side under the Suggestions tab. Right here you'll see some people sharing their GPTs that they made so far, as well as my GPT, the Automotive Advisor. And if you make your own, you can just click this new post and give us a little description along with the link to your GPT. Later in the video, we'll test out these community-made ones, but first up, I want to dive into the actual creation process. So back to the OpenAI website, obviously right at the top, it's going to say create a GPT, the beta feature. Customize a version of ChatGPT for a specific purpose. Now, this might be grayed out for you and you might not be able to click it just yet. Essentially, I had to wait a day or two to even get access to the GPTs made by OpenAI, and then a day later, I got access to the create a GPT feature. So in a week or so everyone is going to have access to this and they'll be sharing their GPTs around for everyone to enjoy. So we'll go ahead and click on create a GPT and we're brought to this screen. On the left hand side you have the creation tab where we have a little GPT builder chatbot along with a create and configure tab. On the right hand screen is the preview for your GPTs. This is the first time we've ever had two GPTs existing on this site at once and I think it's a it's a really cool concept. The AI is building the AI and it's all being supervised by you, the human. So as you can see, it says, Hi, I'll help you build a new GPT. You can say something like, Make a creative who generates visuals for new products, or make a software engineer who helps format my code. What would you like to make? And of course, this is where we can use natural language and natural understanding to just talk to this thing. So we're going to start off really easy. We're going to make a Dolly 3 bot. We all know Dolly 3, the AI image generator, and of course, when you're creating your own chat GPTs, you have access to all those extra features. So let's start out simple we'll do comic book bot i want to make a bot that generates comic book images simple enough we'll send that right off to the bot and gpt builder will respond and start to as you can see turn the wrench and actually update our gpt so what it's doing there is it's actually going ahead and prompting the configure tab over here which then prompts this bot on this right hand side and it updates in real time which is pretty cool you can see it already has a name comic book image creator and it has these little suggestion tabs built right in create a superhero scene sketch a dramatic battle, illustrate a villain's lair, and now it wants to name it officially. How about we call it Comic Sketcher? It's suggesting a name for us. Would you like to go ahead with that? Uh, just for the heck of it, let's try like 10 other names. Okay, I'll be honest, I don't like any of these. Let's just stick with Comic Book Image Creator. And now it automatically begins to generate a profile picture for us, using Dolly 3 of course, which I think is pretty darn cool. Alright, it made a profile picture for us, I'm not really a huge fan of it. Let's try to do a, a creative image here. Close up of a villain being punched in the face with a speech bubble saying pow. Something interesting, you know, eye catching. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I do like that a lot. That is perfect. With the name and profile picture sent, let's tailor its behavior. What kind of guidance would you like the bot to provide? So it's asking us if it should focus more on visual elements like color and framing or on storytelling aspects like 
character emotions or plot points. Let's focus on both, but more on the visual elements. Okay, and before I submit this, I do want to show you the configure tab here. As you can see, it named it and it described it for us. Right now, it does have some instructions here. The GPT is designed to assist users in generating comic book style images, provides guidance on character design setting, plot visualization, helping to bring the user's comic book ideas to life. Here's our conversation starters on the configure tab. And there's a few extra fun options down here like knowledge, capabilities, and actions. And we'll get to those in a little bit. So we'll submit our prompt. And like I said, it's going to go ahead and update that configure tab so we'll go back and see what it added in as you can see now our instructions are even longer ensuring the visuals convey the story's tone and mood also assists with storytelling constructive feedback to refine the user's ideas into striking comic art all right what should the bot avoid the bot should avoid creating anything other than a comic book or illustrative image okay gpt behavior updated so one thing i do want to note about this that i've noticed the feature is in beta it doesn't like to build a very big prompt yet this is about as big as they get as far as I can tell which is kind of an issue in my book because it does continue to ask questions and sometimes it will delete or write over parts of these instructions that maybe we wanted to keep so that's something to keep in mind I do like this little create bot tab to kind of get the ball rolling but I think that it is best used when you start to provide and create your own instructions for the bot how should the bot approach situations where instructions are not clear or incomplete ask for clarification or should it use its own judgment, use its own judgment. Lastly, how do you want the bot to communicate with you? Should it have a formal tone or a casual, friendly approach? Casual and friendly. The comic book image creator will keep things casual and friendly. Now, why don't you take the comic book image creator for a spin in the playground? This literally could be a bug, honestly, because now this whole thing is all about the tone. Like, it literally wrote over everything we already had there. That's why I kind of think it is a bug. Let's go back and copy and paste our whole conversation, which is what I did for my other other bot into chat GPT and just have it summarize just like that and we'll copy these in and just go ahead and paste them into the tab just like that okay so there's our instructions like I said you can change these conversation starters which is pretty cool I can change this last one to something like help me design an original superhero Okay, so now I want to spend a little bit of time talking about these bottom capabilities, exciting stuff. So right here we have a knowledge, which is upload files. These are additional files for this specific GPT to reference. The output of your GPT may include the file contents. So let's say I was making a bot that's just supposed to talk like SpongeBob. I'd want to like dump the entire SpongeBob Wikipedia probably as a file into its knowledge base so it has all of that knowledge. For for this specific use case, we don't really need to add anything, but it could help if we wanted to refine this further. Like maybe we'd want to give it some PDFs on what comic book style looks like or how to draw it. Under this is capabilities. These are pretty self-explanatory. We have web browsing, dolly image generation, of course, the main function for this specific generator that we're creating, and then code interpreter. I think we can just disable code interpreter for this. Web browsing, I'm going to go ahead and probably leave on for now, just in case you wanted to maybe research the attributes of a certain character or something like that. And finally, at the bottom, this is the most exciting thing I think about this whole GPT's feature. This is APIs that the GPT can actually use. So this is pretty huge. You can add a bunch of actions that the GPT is essentially allowed to use, and this can make you superpower the GPT. This could allow it to essentially become like an automated agent, as we saw in the OpenAI demo. Really, really awesome capabilities. For the example one in here, obviously they just have like get weather data or something really, really simple. I mean, you could do almost any API you want. This is like mod support almost you could think of for these little GPTs. For authentication, we have an API key or OAuth. I'm not a developer, so I'm not very familiar with this stuff, but I know how big it is and I know what people are going to get up to. That's why I'm so excited for people to make their own GPTs, especially ones that can utilize custom actions. And it should be relatively easy to figure out. I might have to follow up in another video going more deep into this action set. Anyways, let's get back to our 
our GPT here. Let's test it out. Illustrate a villain's layer. We'll start off simple. And there we go. There is our villain's layer. It's definitely in a nice comic book style, and I'm pretty impressed with that. Spark your imagination for what kinds of dastardly deeds might unfold here. All right, I love it, honestly. I do like that. All right, so if we're satisfied with our GPT here, we can go up to the top and click the save button. And this is where it says publish to only me, only people with a link, or public. And as you see, if you make it public, it says this GPT may appear in the GPT store coming soon. This is coming in the following weeks. I'll just make it public for now and then click confirm. So now it's immediately going to take me to my GPT. You can see if I go to the explore tab, it's also in here because I created it. I can hover over here and delete it as well, or I can go back and edit it again. Just click on it to make a brand new chat with it. And if I hover over it and click on it, you can see uh, there's an about section, edit GPT, hide from sidebar, copy link or report. This is of course how you share it right now before the store is out. We will click on copy link and now the URL can essentially be sent to anyone and they will open up to my comic book image creator GPT. Pretty simple. I think before testing out the other ones, I want to make one more comic book image, but this time we're going to get creative. I'm uploading my channel profile photo or my logo, and I'm going to say, turn this lemon dude into a comic book character. Of course, with that GPT-4 vision and dolly capabilities all wrapped up in my comic book image creator, it can do this. It can look at photos and then say, how can we turn this into a comic book superhero? Really awesome capabilities. There we go. Okay, it did a conversion. I think that was pretty good. That came out well. He's got the VR headset on, he's like this lemon man, and yeah, he's definitely a superhero. And obviously, you know, this small example just barely scratches the surface of what is going to be possible with these custom GPTs. So this other one, Auto Advisor, that I made is actually supposed to be a little bit more useful in your day-to-day -day life. A useful guide for car buying, which is a headache because cars are complex and almost everyone wants some form of advice when they're going to buy a car. As you can see, I did a lot of my own custom instructions for this one. It's a little bit more complicated, but it works off the same principles as the one that we made together. So with this auto advisor bot, you can more or less upload a straight up screenshot of a car listing and start asking it questions. So we'll go ahead and upload this example screenshot I got off of Facebook of a very average car. And it gives us an entire breakdown of that listing, giving us additional information because of course the GPT has knowledge about this specific make and model of car. Of course it can use the web to go and see if this is even a good price. So we'll ask it is this price reasonable and is this a reliable car now it's searching the web for the average price of this vehicle and as you can see there's still struggles definitely with that built-in chat gpt search function as it wasn't really able to extrapolate anything in terms of the price but i'm also not giving away the location of the vehicle which is a very important factor in price and it tells us the engine is generally considered reliable and offers to do another search on the price of course we could even go further with this and start comparing multiple cars cars to each other, but I think you guys get the point. For these custom GPTs, there's definitely entertainment scenarios as well as useful real world case scenarios. I want to see now what the community has gotten up to so far in creating their own GPTs, so let's check out some of those user created ones. Okay, so far on the list we have World Builder, Prompt Expander for Bing, Grug's Wisdom, Deal Scout, and then GPT Genesis. Okay, let's start out with Grug's Wisdom because that sounds pretty cheerful and fun. Okay, Grug's Wisdom is caveman style wisdom in all replies. Oh, and it's important to note that Grug cannot view our chats. Why sky blue? What make fire hot? Why water wet? How wheel work? <laughs> Why apple taste good? Apple taste good because sweet and crisp. Good food for eating. Fruit like apple have sugar make brain happy when eat. Simple taste, easy like. I already love this. Grug, what's the weather today at the Grand Canyon? Can Grug search the web? Does he know how to use a computer? Oh my god, Grug does have the ability to search the web. Who gave this caveman a computer? <laughs> Grand Canyon sun today, sky clear, now feel like 45 degree Fahrenheit, tonight cold, low 11 degree Fahrenheit, tomorrow sun with some cloud. 
<laughs> I love Grug. This is already phenomenal. What did you do today, Grug? Grug sat in thought, watched sky, felt wind, spoke with many people, learned new things, shared old wisdom. Good day. That's good, Grug. Do you think Grug likes the channel? Do you like the, the Matt Vidpro AI YouTube channel, Grug? Straight denial. Grug, please search for the channel. See, this is OpenAI's safety features just butting in. I, I don't know what was wrong with this request, but... Whatever. Grug found Matt Vidpro AI, a channel with many watchers, many videos. Channel talks a lot about smart machine learning, AI. Grug think you like smart machines, maybe channel good for you. Grug saw talk about using AI for making videos better. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Grug. All right, let's move on. I want to try this deal scout. You know, this is a real world use case. I've had that time in my life where I'm, I'm looking for a deal. All right, we'll do an item that I do just know the current price of so I can determine if the deal is good. It's interesting. This one should have to rely on that web search functionality. So we'll see how this goes. All right, found a deal on Best Buy for $1,000. Dollars. Significant savings. It did give the little link to Best Buy. And it did find that, you know, Black Friday deal. That's pretty good. Wow, and believe it or not, that does beat the cheapest brand new one on eBay, which is really hard to do. That's actually a great deal. Of course, if you want to talk about the used market, then eBay is pretty much your only bet, which you can get down to 900. But to be fair, offering a used option really isn't the norm. And with the web searching inside of ChatGPT, you are kind of limited to only a certain amount of sites like maybe Best Buy. It probably can't check Newegg or Amazon. Amazon or even eBay because the web searching isn't allowed to. And finally, we have GPT Genesis, which is actually a GPT creation assistant. Suggests a unique idea for the GPT. Cultural exchange companion. Cultural learning, language basics, cuisine explorer. This could be a pretty cool idea. Definitely mainly as like a travel buddy. I could see that. Pretty darn cool stuff, guys. So like I said, I really want to see more of your GPTs. So definitely post them to my Discord server. And yeah, I think when the full store releases, this is going to be pretty awesome. Everyone is going to turn into a developer with this because it's so easy to make your own custom GPTs. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one, and goodbye.